We are now observing Michelangelo Buonarotti's La Pieta in St. Peter's Basilica. It was made from 1498 to 1500 in the Renaissance era, and it's approximately 6 feet by 6 feet, made of Carrera marble. It was commissioned by the French Cardinal Jean de Bier. Hmm. So, what's this sculpture all about? The title of the work means pity or compassion, so uh, this uh, art depicts the dead body of Christ on the lap of his mother Mary after he was crucified. I see he uses the triangular composition, such as the painting Madonna on the Rocks by Leonardo da Vinci. The style was very popular in his time, wasn't it? Yes, the style and composition during the Renaissance was all about perfect proportion, classical beauty, and naturalism. Yet, interestingly, this sculpture is out of proportion. You're right. Mary looks larger than Christ, even though he's a full-grown man. In other older versions of the Pieta, Mary's body is more realistic, but she doesn't seem to be able to hold Christ because of her small figure, and it makes it look really awkward and unnatural and takes away from the intimacy of the scene. Mm. So Michelangelo purposely made Mary larger to be able to hold the feeble body of Christ? Mm -hmm. By enlarging Mary, he's able to make it look much, much more intimate. Mm. Let's look at her facial expression. Yes, she looks very uh, young and pure for the mother of a 33-year-old son. Yes, she really does. Does Michelangelo have any purposes for doing this? It was actually very common for Mary to be depicted as a young woman uh, at this time. Uh, Michelangelo actually said, Do you not know that chaste women stay fresh much more than those who are not chaste? How much more in the case of the virgin, who has never experienced the least lascivious desire that might change her body? Let's look at the body of Christ. Yeah, he looks uh, very, very lifelike and natural yeah. as he lays there on her lap. Uh, the anatomy is very accurate. Uh, I really like where the flesh is being pulled, pulled up, up by the yeah. arm. Uh, it really gives you the sense of the weight that Mary's holding. In a way, he looks very childlike in her lap, don't you think? Yeah, that's kind of ironic. Uh, similar to if she's holding like a newborn child, yeah. yet... Uh, which is really holding a full-grown dead son. Yeah. Let's look at one of Degas' work. All right. Uh, didn't Degas copy some of the works made by Renaissance artists, such as Michelangelo? Yes, he in fact did. Um, he used some of his ideas to make the work a rehearsal of the ballet on stage. So this work was made by Edgar Degas in 1874, held in the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art. He was in the Impressionist era, yet he did not adopt the style of painting color flex. Also, he did not paint works of en plein air, similar to the ones that Monet painted, such as his work Sunrise, even though he was one of the members of the Impressionist group. Why don't the ballerinas look graceful or elegant? Yeah, you're right. One of the ballerinas is scratching her back, another is yawning, and another one's tying her shoes. Um, I think Dagon was very interested in dance, and music, and opera, so maybe he's giving the viewer a kind of backstage VIP look of how the ballerinas would look like, um, giving the opposite assumption of what you would think the ballerinas would look. Hmm. He seemed to be interested in the effects of artificial light, while um, others among the Impressionists were more interested in the natural light. Yeah, there's really no sense of where the light is coming from. Just that it is present and everywhere. There also doesn't really seem to be much of a sense of composition. Yeah, there are girls squished on the left, and the ballerinas are unorganized, doing whatever they want. There is an interesting uh, sense of depth, though. Yeah, in fact, he uses his emerging stylistic trademark, repoussière, which is a strong, defined person or object in the foreground of a picture, near the left or right edge, with the intention of deepening the illusion of depth. <laughs> See that there's lots of uh, cropped people. Yeah, and objects, right? Objects, yeah. There's like a half of a girl on the left, and you can only see the face of another ballerina behind the arch of flowers and the end of two cellos. He once said, No art was ever less spontaneous than mine. What I do is a result of reflection and of the study of the great masters of inspiration and spontaneity. I know nothing. This work is not a self-contained clear narrative, which would have been presented in the salon. <laughs> True. I can't seem to find out what's going on, whether they're waiting for a rehearsal to be done or if it's just starting. Yeah. 
<laughs> it seems like the people in the scene are not really aware, aware of us either. Yeah. yeah. He's uh, painting people in really unnatural and awkward positions. Yeah, you're right. 